filming it. What are you, uh, you going to have? You're going to have a mocha? Friday hot mocha? Uh, we have three. Got it. Me a uh, mocha frappuccino. Uh, like light. yesterday? No, yesterday was caramel. Uh, so mocha, yesterday. mocha frappuccino light. Yes. Can't remember your name. Simon. Do you work here or are you here for the Olympics? Uh, I work at the courses. This is one of my students. Oh. Everybody, Zeev Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master. I'm here with Dr. Carl Wirtz from Glendale, California. We just finished our computer guided course at USC. Great course. Carl, this is your first time at USC, right? Oh yeah, my first hundredth time. Okay. <laughs> Carl is a repeating uh, customer. Uh, we've known each other for how long? How many? How many Six, years? Six, seven years. Okay. Six, seven. And you came. I think the first time I met you, you came to the. Perio class. Perio class, the mm -hmm. weekend class, mm -hmm. and where you learned about crawling, thinning, and grafting. Yeah, it's surgical and, skills that I learned in school, but had wanted to do, uh, rarely did my own practice. Okay. But taking that course gave me the confidence then to start incorporating it into my own practice. Okay. And I remember one uh, Saturday or Sunday, I came to your office, mm -hmm. and you did your first frigid, frigid free gingival graft. And you did a great job. I had a great teacher. I, well, I, you know, I remember I remember the case, lower incisors, you harvested the tissue, mm -hmm. you sutured to the recipient site, and just seeing the pictures, it was a great result. Great result, and being years out later now, it looks as good as the day we finished. Okay, so. great. So what, what really drives you to um, keep learning? Because you took all of my courses, we've known each other on mm -hmm. uh, you know personal level. Mm -hmm. uh, we keep in touch. You're one of my beta testers for all my mm -hmm. products and mm -hmm. my other programs. So mm -hmm. what keeps you going and wanting to learn more? Because you, you're already good. You already have great surgical skills. I, I think because I'm 35 years in practice now okay. that uh, throughout this time, it was always the specialists have to do the specialty cases. Okay. But you've opened your mind up to it help become the dentist, the general dentist's best friend okay. because you've taken it on yourself that, you know, a lot of these cases that we do have the talents and the skills to do this. Everything doesn't have to be in the specialist's hands. Right. We can do it too. And with taking proper training that we can do these things too. And what it did is it opened up new doors for me. So I have new passions. I love doing these surgeries and working with you. i am now incorporated uh, placing dental implants in my practice. Okay. Uh, we just finished a two day course in computer guided surgery. Now, uh, you amazed me because we've known each other for many years, and you send me case every once, cases every mm -hmm. once in a while through email, and we communicate. I give you my feedback. I give you some criticism. I give you mm -hmm. some uh, pats on the back. Mm -hmm. You know when 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 you deserve them and you're doing a great job. And one day you sent me an email uh, with a case where you placed 13 implants, computer guided, immediate load. In so, one day. In one day. So how does it work from? <laughs> Not being that savvy with implants, starting with simple cases and going to computer-guided surgery, 13 implants. And by the way, 13 is a, is a lucky number? Or, or uh, is this a no, coincidence? one failed. One failed, okay. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> okay, that's the reason. So the 13th implant failed. It's, uh, it's pushing that envelope a little bit more, but don't take too big of a step. Okay. Uh, working with mentors and following, um, following your advice uh, helps keep us out of trouble. That's good, and we want we want to stay out of trouble. We want to make sure that we do the right thing. Um, you also like to climb mountains, and, uh, and I'm, I, ha I have. It's in my past now. Okay. I had to hang up my uh, crampons, but okay. but the same scenarios is that I started with Mount Rainier. And, okay. But I had dreams in the back of my mind that I'd wanted to step it up. So I went to Bolivia and okay. went to twenty thousand feet. Then I went okay. to Mount McKinley at also twenty thousand feet. Okay. A whole different. Um, once to McKinley, then I went to the Himalayas. So with each of my trips, I would just push the envelope a little bit further and further. But throughout that whole time, I looked for training, I looked for mentors, mm -hmm. I looked for ways how to grow and advance and uh, really achieve some goals. And not being able to climb now, <laughs> but I, I've applied all that uh, passion and almost obsession into doing surgical dentistry now. Okay. 
And so... So no Everest um, at the moment? Well, I think the, my Everest was the 13 implant Okay, case. okay. <laughs> so it's interesting, the, the analogy between uh, climbing mountains, which mm -hmm. takes uh, physical skills, but also preparation. And mental skills. And, and strategy. Mm -hmm. How to climb a mountain, very similar to surgery, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. Preparation. Preparation. In this course, what is the, let's do one or two things that you learned that may be new to you that you can apply now in your practice? Uh, with the computer guiding courses, you, you know you know now that every time we would do something, you always, what could I have done better? Mm -hmm. Computer guided surgery is such that it eliminates all these little complications okay. that could happen. There's lots of factors that can throw the implants off a little bit. And you work so hard to do a great job, but then you look at it at the end, it's just like, ooh, I could have done better. Okay. But doing computer guidance, I see now that this is the way to really hit a home run mm -hmm. and do the best we can for our patients. Mm -hmm. uh, but taking a course like yours, it just reinforces. Great. And um, what's next? What are we what's, doing next? What are we going to do next? What's uh, the next case? What's happening tomorrow? Mo tomorrow is Monday. Oh, we're now oh. Sunday at the end of the course. We're all <laughs> exhausted, tired. We want to go home. No, tomorrow I have another big implant case. Tomorrow okay. it's a lower anterior segment, um, four extractions, uh, two immediate implants. Going Look in at you! And converting <laughs> mm -hmm. it all into a uh, temporary bridge. Okay. Immediate so, load. Immediate load. Carla, I was always um, uh, very impressed by your abilities, by your willingness to learn. And thank you for helping me with uh, Surgical Master, mm -hmm. with um, uh, reviewing uh, all the products that I'm coming up with, mm -hmm. uh, giving it's me a, constructive... It's a great service, and for somebody, a specialist, yes. to take his, the general dentist under his wing and want to be so passionate about sharing as much knowledge mm -hmm. as he can, you're, you're a very rare person. And on behalf of all the mm -hmm. uh, enrollees for Surgical Master, we want to thank you so much for your passion. Thank you so much. Are you head of the uh, Surgical Master Club? Absolutely. Surgical Master Fan Club. <laughs>
do a uh, first run of just asking me questions. No, I'm just going to talk to you. Okay. I'm just going to... All right. Yeah. Pretend it's like for real. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Go ahead. And you're going to film this whole, this whole, this whole time? Yeah. How long is it? Uh, five minutes. Well, it's quite good. Yeah. Okay. Good. You have enough memory in that? Yeah. It has like 200 minutes. Oh, okay. Perfect. Good. Okay.